Whenever I'm at a loss about what to cook, paneer is my ultimate fallback option. For me, it's a magic ingredient that can easily fit into any recipe. And what I'm making today is one of the most popular and easy to make paneer recipes around. I'm going to start with grinding all the aromatics. So I have some chopped onion, ginger, small clove of garlic, cashew nuts, and green chilies. Let's check on this. This paste is ready. Just make sure your ginger and garlic pieces grind properly. And now I'm going to start cooking. I'm going to heat up some butter. Once the butter melts, I'm going to add the onion paste. Cook the onion paste till it changes color slightly. Next, I'm going to add the tomato pulp. Cook the tomatoes for 3 to 4 minutes. Next, I'm going to add the curd. Cook the curd for 2 minutes. I have some spinach puree over here. For that, I've taken some water. Boil the spinach with some salt in it. Drain out all the water and ground it into a puree. And now I'm going to add this puree into my tomato and onion paste. Add a little bit of water. Just a dash of garam masala. Salt. One tip whenever you're cooking anything with spinach, after you finish cooking, do not cover it. That's a warning. Do not cover it. You'll ruin the color. And I'm also going to add a little bit of cream. Next, I'm going to add the paneer cubes. Turn off the flame because this palak paneer is ready to serve. You can serve palak paneer with roti, paratha, naan or even kulcha. Instead of paneer, you can add some kofta or steamed vegetables or even corn. And it's going to be as easy and quick. So do try this recipe, comment below and subscribe to the channel. See you next time. Bye-bye.